Go back to the ring, Sean Mugovic. Here comes Tony Savesky in the robe as well. Oh, and he looks good. He's got a bit of a character with him as well. Fantastic. He's uh, 50 years of age. He's Tony, 170, centi 170 centimetres. He's a southpaw boxer. We'll talk a little bit about the southpaw versus orthodox in a moment. But he makes his way into the ring. He wants to give a big shout out to his daughter, Gabby. It's her 20th birthday today. And she couldn't make it here. So a big shout out to Gabby if you're tuning in from home. Uh, a happy 20th birthday as your dad makes his way into the ring. And he's looking in great shape as well for a 50-year-old as well. Fantastic, Tony. Here comes Tony French to the ring. He just walks straight through fireworks, no stopping, no messing around with his fella. He's 60 years of age. He has got a 1-0 record. Those training out of the Docklands gym here at Tribute. He's got plenty of family in Adelaide that are all tuned in. He's going to be in Adelaide next week. So he said, guys, I'll see you there when I'm a winner. He's 183 centimetres, a little bit taller than Tony, and he's an orthodox fighter. Guys, talk to me about this matchup. Is it hard to train for a southpaw, a southpaw versus orthodox? What's the different preparation like? Yeah, so with, with uh, when you're fighting like the south boys, you just gotta you just gotta switch up your defence a bit. So more something to that uh, uh, lean side away from their lean hand. Um, yeah, just staying away from their right. A lot of times people tend to kind of circle to their rear side, but you're just right in line with that right hand, the rear hand from the south boy. Referees to go with their final instructions. Now, Jay, we had Tony coming in at 106.2. Tony at 99.4. The seven kilos give away a fair bit in this in this encounter. Yeah, I think it's a, a pretty fair advantage. Yeah. So we have Tony Sevsky in the red trunks and Tony French in the blue. So the both Tonys go at it. French just with a strong defense early. And doing the right thing, he's circling to his lead, so staying away from that rear hand. So very experienced start here, both fighters not going out too hard too early. A couple of right hands landed there by Sevsky with the left, going straight down the middle. Harder to get a look at the southpaw, they got that opportunity to go straight down the middle sometimes. Sevsky using that jab successfully to, to gauge his range. Yeah, he can nice. the distance well. Uh, yeah. Tony's going to find his way in. Really strong defense here by French, keeping those hands up. Trying to work his way in, press up on that chest. Come on, 
Good work there by Savesky, just leading with the jab and then trying to go down that middle there. Tony's just got to jab his way in a little bit more. He just let his, let his hands go once he's in there. So just work his way in. Once he's there, just let his hands go. Savesky doing a good job of keeping him off, working on that back foot there. Couple of clean punches land there by Sevsky. Oh, nice one there. The other hand right. Now French is going to work. I'll give him a bit of confidence landing a couple. Oh. Sevsky just answering back. Seems to get through those hands with that jab. Ten seconds left in the round. French with a jab, looking to set up that right. First round, nice fantastic round. first round. Technically, really sound, would you yeah, say? Yeah, it was a good round, good first round. Uh, Frenchy, Frenchy probably just needs to use his jab a little bit more, trying to get in close. But um, Savetsky did well, sort of keeping him at bay. Stars here, you've got that one fighter on the back foot of this game. You've got uh, French coming for being more aggressive. A bit more head movement by French just to work his way in. And being successful when he lets his hands go when he's in there. Um, and Svetsky just using that jab and likes to let that right hand go a bit more. If he's touching him with the jab, that right hand will land him down. I think I was really impressed with both of the fighters just, just pacing themselves through it. And they're not coming out, not just trying to throw a flurry of punches, just taking their time, trying to pick their shots. Really technically sound boxing. Yeah. Well, this is this is Frenchy's second fight night, so you can tell he looks a little bit more comfortable. Where Savetsky is a little bit more nervous, but they both both doing really well. So both fighters now about to come back. Second round, and they look in fantastic shape. Both of these fighters. French coming on strong. Not okay. waiting at all. French has seen enough, I think. He's, He's warmed up. Going hard early. Oh, nice right hand there. Right hander over the top. Oh, French. Got a bit of fresh air on that one. Make sure that he's uh, in range before he lets those hands go. Is he just oh, nice oh. right hand? That rocked him, that cross. Yeah. Savesky down the middle is really clean as French goes over the top with the right. Sevsky getting out of the way, but he's backed into the corner now. I think this is where French wants him. Yeah, I'm in the corner, let his hands go. A little bit of a wrestle. The officials will come in, they'll he's separate come, he's that. He's come to play, French. <laughs> All love. Both fighters touch gloves, they'll re-engage here. Oh, big shot to the body, and then to the yeah. chin. French landing another one. And another. And Sayevsky answering back with himself. Great battle. Couple of nice down the middle. Oh, nice left by French. Then the right over the top. The boys are gassed. He's just looking a little bit tired here, dropping his hands, and I think um, French is just taking advantage of that by just coming over the top. Ten seconds left in the round here. Should be boxing fight night number ten. French over the top. And that's the second round. Wow. Well. Bit, bit of rocky one vibes, that one. <laughs> How do we, uh, where are we calling this one at the moment? Which corner is in front? I think uh, French is just up. Looking a little bit more fitter. Uh, Savinsky looks like he's a little bit tired and he's struggling to keep his hands up. But when he, when he throws his straight, he's um, been very successful against French. He's rocked him a little bit. Yeah, yeah that right hand's a strong right hand. He just needs to keep, keep him off, just stay on that back foot. You know, Frank French uh, is going to come out um, strong in this next one, I'd say. He's uh, got that taste now once those punches are landing. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's uh, wants to let him go. Well, we saw French come out in that second round at the start. He came out with a flurry of punches. I wonder if he'll adopt the same tactic. He'll try and finish this one early as possible. He gets to suck in the big breaths now, and we'll see what happens when he comes to engage. What does uh, Tony Sayevsky need to do here in the, in the second part of this fight? Just keep using those strikes to keep him off. Just stay on that back foot, yeah? 
Both fighters ready to go here. It's round three. The last and final round. Ten weeks of camp. All comes down to this. Oh, nice shot over the top from French. Got a start by Sinetsky. French again. Oh, oh, French goes down. I think he just lost balance. Straight in. French with the right. Real rock solid defense by Tony French. Tony's very careful. Nice right down. hander. French is smells French blinding landing again. French has really worked well deep into this fight. He's seemed to get better as it goes they're, on. They're both digging deep. Oh, he really wound up on that yeah. one. Really looking to let that right hand go, Finches. Both boys showing a lot of heart here. Another right, landed. Now the left. Tony Sevsky looks in a little bit of trouble here. Tony French sent to the corner. He'll get a standing count. Tony French, French got a little bit of swagger about come himself out too. Here, I think. <laughs> He's going to come out swinging now. Seconds. 30 seconds left here in the last round. Tony drops ahead, his hands are down. Now French is just taking advantage of that. Oh, French does go down though. What a fight. 10 seconds left here. French working hard, both fighters. It's been a tremendous effort. And that's it. That was a great Here's your three rounds. Both, both boys showed a lot of heart there. What a great effort by both of them. Really solid. Their technique was really well. They paced themselves throughout the three rounds. Fantastic effort. But who do you think got up in the end? I think, I think Frenchie just got it. Yeah. Frenchie got that one too. Yeah, just really waiting that, that right hand. That was a good scrap though. The boys did really well. Yeah. Now we saw Tony French. He, he got that knockdown. Talk to us about that mentality. When you knock your opponent down, it's is it really hard to hold yourself back from just going too hard once you engage back into the fight? Or sometimes you're just in that zone and uh, you do that rift to kind of to break. You do kind of see red sometimes, you know. Um, but even and then on the other end, you know, sometimes you've got to let that not deter you and to take the rest of the round. You know, brush it off, see if you can, um, you know, regain composure and come back on strong. So we potentially could see our first win for Team Black out of the blue corner. Tony French, 60 years of age. He's already done one of the fight nights. He was 1-0. This could be his second win. Yeah, he fought Steve. He's a handyman. General maintenance. He'll be going to Adelaide with a great story to tell. He said he's got a trip planned next week. Let's go back to the ring for the result. Ladies and gentlemen, while we wait for the judges' scorecard, how about we give a big round of applause for those two young warriors. What a huge effort. What a fight it was. Well, great effort from both guys there. It's not easy sticking through those ropes and doing, uh, doing what they just did. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scorecard is in. And in a split points decision, Frederick one scored at 29-28 in favour of the blue corner. Judge two scored at 29-28 red corner. And Judge three scored at 29-28 to your winner, fighting out of the blue corner. to get their first win, the blue. Team Black. So a split decision, a big one there. 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28 with the blue, uh, with the red corner winning one of those rounds. Did you uh, agree with the judges there, guys? A split decision? Yeah, well, it was a hard one to call. Yeah, it was a close fight. Yeah, pretty fair, yeah. I do think Blue just got that one. 
fantastic effort for both of those guys to get up and go through fly camp, 50 and 60 years of age. Let's go to the interview with Tony French. Tony French said there's plenty more to come. 